All right, so one thing to consider, if we have, like we're trying to find uh, if this was a pond, and it's chopped up into intervals like this. And let's say we're going by 20 foot intervals, intervals or something like that. That means your H is 20, okay? Because it's going by 20s. These are all 20 foot intervals. Uh, you need to remember or consider that your first Y value like if this is not your first y value because you've got all this area, so your first y value, y sub zero, is actually zero. And your last one is going to be zero. So y sub n is zero because it goes down to uh, a point, think of it. So its distance is zero and then maybe this is like 100 feet and this is 110 feet and so on. But your first one's zero, your last one's zero, if you have like a three or a two dimensional shape like that. Okay, I know that in your assignment you might have to find like the cross-sectional area of a airplane or part of the airplane body and think of this as zero and that as zero. Alright, um, I feel like I got this already written out. Okay, so we've got, let's just find the area. This is kind of just like a little activity to sort of prove um, the Simpsons rule. So we've got a parabola. It's of the form y equals ax squared plus bx plus c. We've got three ordered pairs. We're going from negative h to h, finding the area underneath the curve. That's our goal. Okay, so... Using Simpson's rule, it would be h over 3 times your first y value, 4 times the second one, then time, or plus your last y value. Okay, so see if you could figure out the area under the curve here um, using Simpson's rule. Well, your first ordered pair is negative h comma y sub zero. So see if you, what you get when you plug in negative h and zero and h and then substitute it in here and do some algebra to figure out what that might look like. I'll give you a, a couple minutes to try that little exercise. <coughs> 